Welcome back to another Google AdMob tutorial. I'm Mark, your Partner Experience Specialist, and today I'll be taking you through some best practices that you can use when implementing interstitial ads into your app. When implemented correctly, interstitial ads are not disruptive and are in fact your best buffer buddy during app load time. By placing interstitial ads at points in your app where there is wait time, it can help consistently keep users engaged. We'll be covering some useful tips on getting the most out of your interstitial ads while keeping your users happy and engaged. Before diving straight into the best practices for interstitial ads, this is the agenda for today. We'll be going through four best practices. The first best practice states to place interstitial ads at any point in time within your app where there is significant wait time. Next, we have our second best practice, which promotes frequency capping. Thirdly, we recommend preloading content for readiness and last but not least, we will end this video off with interstitial ads policy reminder to ensure you get the most out of your interstitial ad experience. Interstitial ads are not disruptive ad format and are in fact your best buffer buddy during game load time. To ensure you get the most out of your interstitial ads, make sure to opt in for all ad types. Opting in for all available ad types offer greater dynamism and variety for interstitial ads, resulting in potentially higher fill rates and eCPMs. Fret not we will alert you in the event of choosing only one or two ad types. With that out of the way, let's dive into the four best practices when using interstitials. You should place interstitials at any point in time where there are natural transition points within your app. It is recommended that interstitial ads appear before the break page rather than after. Break pages often require users to tap a next button or any equivalent to move on to the next level. As such, Placing ads after the next button can be surprising since the user is expecting to move on to the next stage. Placing ads before continue or next buttons will also reduce accidental ad clicks from users who unintentionally click the ad when trying to click on the continue or next buttons. If the app requires some sort of frequent or repeated tapping by users, it is recommended that a delay is inserted after the end of a level and before displaying an interstitial ad. This delay can be in the form of a loading screen, wait screen, or progress bar. This allows users to stop tapping, thereby reducing the number of accidental clicks. With word games, we encourage you to place interstitial ads at the start and end of every game and avoiding placing them within the gameplay itself. With music, simulation, and card type games, place interstitial ads at game transitions. Users will feel engaged with minimal idle time. Remember, the real fun for interstitials is to avoid flooding them at every user touch point. Second best practice, engaging frequency capping. It is good practice to cap the number of times your users see the same ad. This might sound counterintuitive, but it helps prevent saturation, keeping your users engaged with the ads on your apps. Third best practice, ensure you preload your app content for readiness. Typically, a slight delay in triggering the ad could happen when implementing interstitials. This is usually after a user selects an action. Just as it is important to make sure you display interstitial ads at an appropriate time, it is also important to make sure the user doesn't have to wait for them to load. Loading the ad in advance by calling load ad before you intend to call show can ensure that your app has a fully loaded interstitial ad at the ready when the time comes to display one. Preloading your interstitial ads will allow you to avoid latency when displaying ads to the user. To ensure that you get the most out of your ads, we encourage all of our developers to be policy compliant. One of the most common policy violations when implementing interstitial ads is serving ads outside of app environment. These out-of-context ads are referred to as outstitials. Some interstitial ad implementation have caused confusion among developers as to whether they are compliant or not. Fret not, we will walk you through some common examples. Example number one. At the home page of your mobile, select the app you want to open from the minimize apps list. Upon clicking into the app, the interstitial ad pops up before the game screen shows up. User promptly closes the ad and it's brought back to the game or app interface. This is an outstitial because the page before the interstitial is outside the app interface. Example number two, starting from the app screen, assuming the user wants to leave the app, user will choose to click the exit app button. Interstitial ad pops up, user promptly closes the ad. Thereafter, the user is then brought back to the homepage of their mobile. This is an outstitial because the user is no longer using the app and clearly out of the app environment. For the optimal interstitial ads experience, here are some of the key takeaways. Don't be misled by misconceptions, such as interstitial ads being disruptive ad format. 
Also, ensure that you are up to the end all ad types so as not to compromise your revenue. First best practice, use interstitials at natural transition or waiting points within your app. Second best practice, engage in frequency capping with the ads you are showing to prevent saturation. Third best practice, preload contents for readiness so that there is no lag time when the user clicks on your ad. Last best practice, interstitial ads policy reminder to prevent you from serving ads outside of your app environment. Once again, thank you for watching Google AdMob tutorials. We hope you have learned a thing or two about interstitial placement, frequency capping, preloading ads, and maintaining policy compliance. But before you jump off, we have more resources to share with you to make your interstitial experience with us the best possible one. You can find many resources such as our AdMob Help Center and developer's guides on interstitial ads below the video description. And one last thing, be sure to subscribe to the Google AdMob channel for more best practices and tips on how you can grow your app further.